Hey, this is Kale with the Phoenix Herpological Sanctuary, and we're actually out here looking for rattlesnakes. Uh, and these are our tagged or radio telemetry rattlesnakes. And so monsoon season is here, which is my favorite time of the year because it actually brings out a lot of rattlesnakes, especially at night. So we're going to be walking around here. There's actually three uh, radio tracked rattlesnakes in this area, all Western Diamondbacks. And we're going to see what they're doing right now and get some data on them. This rattlesnake I'm tracking, is, her name's Clover. I relocated her back here to her original release site. And I was kind of expecting her to be right where I released her, but she's actually moved. Oh! Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. I, there, I heard a rattle. Oh, there she is! Look there! She's, she's on the move! She was stretched out, but look, she just curled up in a little circle, and I can actually tell it's her because I see her painted rattle. But that's Clover. Well, she's 95 degrees. She is hot. So one of the cool things about monsoon storms is they bring in a lot of humidity. And so we have these high temperatures during the day. They're even hot at night. And so, but the rattlesnakes, it's perfect for them. So when these monsoons come in and this humidity comes up, the rattlesnakes get very active during the evening. And so that's what we're seeing here, a lot of activity. And it's not just the rattlesnakes, the whole desert explodes with activity at this time of year. That's why I love it so much. Oh, I, I don't think I've ever seen one over here before. Oh, Look, it's a, it's a, no, it's a, a variable sand snake. That's a huge variable sand snake. Yeah, he's big. I just, I've never seen one in this area before. Nice. They're pretty. This is called a variable sand snake. And as little as he looks, he's actually really big for his species. I once saw a baby one of these uh, caught in a black widow's web. So little. Little teeny guy. They love eating like termites and little bugs. But yeah, he is a whopper. Look at his little nose. Oh, he's taking off. I, don't, I can't even pick up the signal here. But there, I picked it up. Okay. So this morning, I was tracking Booker, and I'm looking for Booker, a really big male uh, that we have tagged and uh, put a transmitter in. So he's actually right up under this tree, but there's a hole right at the base there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my GoPro down there and see if I can see him. Arizona's daytime conditions become too hot and dry for snake activity during the summer. They will shelter in burrows, re-emerging at nightfall or for the occasional monsoon rain. We love Booker because he is kind of a celebrity here. So he is named after Devin Booker, the Phoenix Sun star, and they contacted us and had their film crew come out and we filmed this rattlesnake uh, is a, a model with these new shoes uh, with the rattlesnake pattern inside the Nike swoosh. And so that, that is Booker. And so uh, we love him. We put him back out in the desert and he's actually, you know, we've been tracking him to see what he's doing. He was in a hole right at the base of this tree and the signal's coming from that same spot. Let's go in for a closer look. I can actually see down the hole and he's not there. Oh crap, there he is! He's right there. Oh, you gotta see this. He's right out in the open. We've been keeping an eye on Booker and we've been coming out on a regular basis tracking him and it's been really neat to see his movements and he's actually was found with Clover. So they were from a snake hall found underneath a storage shed together and uh, we released them here and they, they're actually wandering around separately now but we're kind of hoping that they'll come back together and we might be able to see a little love story there. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna get some data now. The cool part about coming out here and looking for these snakes and being able to track them is uh, being able to educate people. And that, that's why we enjoy making these videos and things, but we are gonna be doing uh, night hikes where people can come 
out with us and be able to see us doing this active research. So if you like research, if you like being able to see stuff like this where you can uh, track rattlesnakes, uh, we're going to be offering these as guided tours just like we do at our sanctuary, but they're gonna be out here in the desert. When you get to see it with your own eyes, it's, it's beautiful. These tours will be available on our website later this month, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for updates on future videos. Thanks to your support, we have grown to have the largest YouTube following of any zoological facility in Arizona. Thank you.